just Kisara? No last name would make you a Danon. So it does. Is that a problem? The guard. Wait, so you're saying the Lord of Elda Menencia has Danons protecting him? That was really stupid, Xion. Really stupid. That's what you get for being so careless. What I get? What were you thinking attacking him on your own? What are you upset about? Our whole goal is supposed to be overthrowing the Lords. Remember? I could have been hurt. And it wouldn't have been the first time either. What's gotten into you? Did my man just cut his soul out of his body? in your good grief okay don't say I didn't warn you I was asleep in guards clothes and get scolded hey it's your turn to patrol now okay time to get out there and make do wait I can't tell who's talking Unusual lord. I can't believe he treats the embedded so. Hey, we're not supposed to call them that anymore, remember? Right, my fault. Old habits die hard. As a little kid, I never would have dreamed that I'd get to work in, a pa in the palace. Me either. I remember when just looking at this place used to be enough to get you killed. It's funny when you look back on it now, but when they first announced they were recruiting guardsmen, I was a little more than suspicious. Lord Dohalim is really trying to look out for us, which is all the more reason we have to make sure we don't let him down. My question is, when do we find that woman who said she'll never forgive Dohalim? I've got to say, I'm always blown away by the Danans in the guard. What makes you say that? Well, as you can imagine, ever since I was born, I was always taught that Danans were an inferior people. Not every... not even people, really. It's true that Danans can use astral arts like us, but you can still run quicker and able to keep up with the work. If I hadn't been chosen to follow or door him here, there's no way I could have ever come around to opening my mind and thinking differently. We owe him a lot for bringing us joy and allowing us to truly live. I intend to repay that as best as I can as the guard. Ugh, no more guards, please. I don't want to do the deep voice anymore. The deep militarized anime voice. It's not good on the throat. At this point, I think that's the only voice that could cause any harm to my, to my body than any other voice since a while. Do you really think we should trust accommodations from a Renan Lord? How do we know it's safe? Like we have any other choice. We can't go and set up camp outside of town at this hour. Honestly, I'd still take that- Back at the palace. His true intentions aside, for now at least we're in his good books. And we probably shouldn't test his patience. Let's find that in and check in. What's this one? Hint. 
interesting. All we ever got was a tattered blanket, a rock-hard bed, and well past its prime food. What are you talking about? What we got for our slave labor back in Calaglia. As you can tell, it wasn't much at all. Here, the Danans get the same basic amenities, but the quality is way better than anything we were given. Hell, apparently they even get time off to do what they want. If I'm being honest, I'm... I'm not sure how to take all this in. Could it be that things were simply harsher in Calaglia compared to everywhere else? It was the same in Cislodia, too. Our buildings and clothing were equipped to handle the cold, but that was the only difference. Working the floodlights was a form of punishment, so we didn't really get rewarded for anything that we did. Yeah, you could be assigned to fix food or make daily necessities too, but when all was said and done, most of that stuff went to the Renans. There wasn't much in the way of compensation for any of that, so I'd say that Cislodia and Calaglia were both pretty awful. An elder Menencia really is unusual. To say the least. Hell, I might even go so far as to call it crazy. But the fact remains, Danons aren't free here. Wait, what? Yeah. No matter how happy they look, they're still slaves. Damn it, I keep I don't even know what to think right now. This is all way too much to deal with. It's giving me a headache. I thought you can't feel pain. How do you get a headache if you can't feel pain? I guess his head would get heavy at the very least. So that was Lord Dolim, huh? He sure is something. Definitely not like the other lords we've met up until now. At first, he sounded like just some snobby royal. But he immediately shut down Xion's surprise attack. He's tougher than he looks. Definitely. After all, he's a lord for a reason. The food was pretty damn good, too. Why are you two complimenting him? You just said it yourself, Alfin. He's a Renan lord. Yeah, but he didn't act hostile towards us. You're reading him wrong. He's acting indifferent. He's attempting to keep some distance between himself and everyone else. It's obvious. What are we going to do then? Vicent seems to be legit peaceful. Are we just gonna do as he says and leave things be? I'm not entirely sure. For now, I think it would be best for us to rest at the inn and think about our options. Yeah, if there's anything, I wish Rinwell would calm down on that. She's very, very, very defensive. And that needs, uh, that I got, that's just gotta change. It's not safe. Man. This guy wanna spawn in. Who is this and what did he want? Oh, you're the dragon guy. How afraid I. Rest. Welcome, fair travelers. Lord Dohalim's retainer told us to expect you. It is an honor for you to stay with us. Please, make yourselves comfortable. That's not a real cat. That was a person. Who can transform This is better than cat. I expected. Hmm? <clears throat> the room. It's nice. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, are you, what? It is pretty nice. You good? You okay, Law? You're a million miles away. Nah, it's weird. I felt strange ever since we arrived here. Can't seem to shake it. Maybe it's something about this place. You're just tired. I'm feeling pretty sluggish myself. You too? Seriously, you two? A word to the wise, our work here is far from over. Get yourselves together. I'm sorry, but I need to call it a day. Let's meet back here tomorrow morning and see where things go from there. Sound good? Sure, but keep an eye out for anything strange, okay? We still don't know how safe this place really is. Are you two feeling any better? Yeah. A good night's sleep seems to have done the trick. I wonder why we felt so out of it. You think it might have been because of all the food we ate? I thought you didn't eat you anything. You don't think they slipped something into our food, do you? That must be it. I thought you didn't eat. If they were making an attempt on our lives, we'd know it by now. Though, on the other hand, they could be warning us off. 
Come to think of it, you didn't eat anything at the meal, Rinwell. Aren't you starving? Oh, I made myself something later. You missed out. That was some mighty fancy grub they served yesterday. What? And give the enemy a chance to poison me too? Are you crazy? What's the big deal? Shion ate it too, remember? And we both tried the same stuff. Well, maybe they laced it with poison that's only harmful to Danans, hmm? That's enough, Rinwell. <laughs> No. Go away. The cat? Where'd it come from? Demon. Kick it. There's something on its collar. Hold on a sec. I think it's the sort of thing. If I'm gonna take this like trails of cold steel. Man, they need to stop doing using black cats for this stuff. Use a different covered cat. Whoa, you fast. And I'm supposed to keep up with you? <gasps> there it is! Stay close. We're gonna lose it. What's Don't gotten trust into you, it. This might be the lead we've been waiting for. Seriously? Yeah. Some people train animals to act as messengers. They don't attract attention, see? And you think that someone might be using that cat? To reach out and send us a message or something? I could be wrong, but it's possible. I'm impressed. I would never have thought of that. I should know. We used to use them in Cislodia. She's so wait, adorable. Wait, stop. <sighs> so, that black cat, do you think it works for someone? I'm sure it does. It wouldn't try to lead us around like that if somebody didn't train it to. I wouldn't know. I've never had one myself. If I did, it'd probably try to eat poor Hoodle. Huh. I wonder who they are, though. I doubt this is Dohalim's work. Yeah, he has no reason to do this. Although we can't rule out that it might be one of his lackeys, either. You think one of his subordinates is up to something? That Dohalim guy is a pretty unusual character for a Renan, let alone for a Lord. It's hard for me to imagine that they all agree with what he's doing. Maybe one of them plucked up the courage to go rogue. Well, let's head further in. I'd like to figure out at least one of the mysteries of this place. I ain't got no trust. I'd sooner be drop kicking this cat than anything else. Where do you think it's trying to lead us? Hell. Who knows? We should hurry. We don't want to lose it. Now when I talk about drop kicks, do I mean dying? Do I mean the dying like one drop kick or dying like two drop kick? Which is more effective? Be damn clever. Yeah. It just looks like an ordinary cute cat. Then we go in the forest and learn that things are not very good. We try to uncover the secrets of Dolholim and then things just go out of crazy. We lost sight of the cat. After the chase it's led us on, there's gotta be something up ahead. Let's go farther in. I get that underground forests aren't exactly something you see every day, but I really could have done without any Zoogles running around. You said it. to fear. Zoogles work for the Renans. There might be strays out here, but the other Zoogles won't let them get close. Using Zoogles to keep watch over their own kind, huh? That would explain why we're not seeing any guards. Yeah, which makes it that much easier for someone to hide around here, too. Sorry, Shion. My foot slipped. Are you alright? I should be asking you. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you're okay. It's easy to forget sometimes. 
If anybody else had been in your place, they'd be howling right about now. Huh? Oh, right. You mean your thorns. Yeah, I'm... Uh, no worse for wear over here. Again, sorry for brushing you like that without warning. Well, just be careful. <sighs> hey, Alfin? Hmm? Forget it. It's nothing. I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, well, okay. What's with those two? No, oh, Hoodle. Okay, what's this place all about? This is already giving me death and I request one flashbacks. Oh boy, look at these. Forest Rover. That's Who not any better. This one's mine! Nope, uh, we already you missed it. Definitely on unknown right. right. difficulty with how fast that went down. I'll crush you! <laughs> Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! <laughs> like we're gonna lose to small fry. Damn, that bonus just goes up quick on unknown. Or maybe it goes up because of the enemies we killed. Is this eight? You're not eight. Little help! I can carve through And I forgot who I was playing as for a second. Easy! Way to go! He really just has the best endings to these Step fights. Back. This one's all law. The reason the trees around here are so big is because of astral energy, right? It's possible. But give them enough time, and trees can get pretty big on their own without any extra help. Well, they are in the way. I won't forget you! Armor won't save you! Ignite! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Did you just heal me? This is barely target practice. Then why bother fighting them? Because I certainly won't run away from a battle. No choice. You picked the wrong fight. This one's gonna be tough. Come on, now, man. Get toasty. Burn strike. With my comrades, I'm unstoppable. And what about without them? Uh, more stoppable?
Great, now I'm hurt and dirty. They've really got us on the ropes. Don't forget to heal your wounds. Careful. We don't want to fall here. Yeah. I doubt anyone would hear if we even called for help. Come and face me! Not today! I'm sorry to be a father. But you're all about one of them. This one is normal. Blind freak! What did they just do? Sam, can you take care of them? No sooner said than done! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Blade. See that? that training's paying off! I'm just a red dog! Short Rain Alpha! This one is hot! This one's all mine! Eat dirt! Number one down! We're thinning them out! We exploit me! I'll admit I'm impressed. Why did you hear me? Very to stop you down. Coming through! Ha! Melt! Scarlet Inferno! Watch it! Hell and Storm! Huts! Radiant Pierce! Finish it! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Step back! This one's all law! The design of it... The... It's a... Equipment is really interesting. You must really like it, Alfin. Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. Healing for us. 
so much for sitting this fight out. Nope, that'd be silly. They aren't necessarily in the sky, but I'll crush you! Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! God, how many times have I seen that? I'll easily find out right now how many times I've seen that. That's not where I go to find that. Seven do die times. What? I was actually gonna try and avoid those guys. I guess I was too close somehow. The astral energy is surging around me. How do you even know about all that astrally stuff? Same way I know what you do in the middle of the night. What? Can't believe they put that in there. Right They're really implying that this man is Jack the Beast. How old? No, don't do it. And lost it. I'll bring you back from death to this. They're surrounding us. Stop. Repeat. Even back. This one's mine. Trust it. Where are you going? Not done yet. Turn on those things. Ignite. The lightning is raging. Look sharp. Lightning tiger blade. See that? That training thing off. Coming through. Oh, there he goes. I forgot he even activated that. Good thing that ended the fight. I can feel my precision improving. I want whatever this is. I can't get it because I gotta kill them. Well, I sure am getting the ex experience, even when I wasn't really looking to do it right now. The way Wa fights kind of reminds me yes, we better be extra of uh, Tifa we in Final Fantasy this? VII. <sighs> Just oh, yeah. this one. Huh? Never 